What is up, bros and brorettes? I am Ink Slasher, and today we're going to be talking about the best weapon in Black Ops 3 that you've never used. And I know that somewhat sounds like a BuzzFeed article, but I promise you it's not. And the reason why you've never used this weapon is because it's a supply drop weapon. I did feel like that so few people have actually got this weapon out of supply drops that no one actually knows how good good it is and no one's used it against you so you really don't even know that it's possibly an overpowered weapon and i have two questions for you down in the comment section below first things first have you got this weapon let me know down in the comments whether or not you've actually got this weapon and the second question i have for you is do you think it's good before you watch this video write in the comments do you think this weapon is good or not so I believe throughout this video we're either going to have two or three different gameplays of me using the M16. The one you're watching here is the first game I ever played with the M16. AKA, there is no attachments on the weapon, I'm using the iron sights, and I'm still getting used to the weapon. And the next thing we're going to look at is all of the stats for the M16, because to understand why this weapon is so unbelievably good, you have to understand the stats behind the weapon. So, starting off, let's look at the damage profile. So, the M16 is going to deal 40 damage up close and 30 at long range so this is going to be a three to a four bullet kill the important part about this is that the m16 is a three round burst weapon so up close you are always going to have a three round burst assuming you actually land all of your bullets so just looking at that damage profile you can already see how strong this weapon is now in core game modes that's an all right damage profile however in hardcore that's an amazing damage profile and the reason why I say that is because this weapon is always going to be a one bullet kill from any range in hardcore mode. On top of that, you can throw a silencer on and still be a one bullet kill across the map, anywhere on a map. It's absolutely insane. This is the best weapon in hardcore. And the reason why I say that is the XR2 used to be the best weapon in hardcore simply because anywhere on a map, it's going to be a one bullet kill. But a while ago, they actually put a pack into Black Ops 3, where in hardcore mode, if you're using a silencer, the XR2 randomly will not get a one bullet kill. It's after a certain range, but the M16 does not have that patch. So you can throw a silencer on and still have a one bullet kill anywhere on the map. It is really really good in hardcore but going back to core game mode let's look at why this weapon is so good there so first things first the three round burst kill you were able to get a three round burst kill up until 37.5 meters which is actually really good that's a long range to actually be able to get a one round burst kill in comparison the m887 the godly m887 that all of the pros use also has a one round burst range of 37.5 meters but the difference is is that the one round burst on the m8a7 is four bullets and because of this it's actually harder to get a one round burst because more bullets actually have to hit the target whereas the m16 it's actually easier to get that one round burst kill because only three bullets need to hit the target so there's a big difference in between there so the next thing we're going to talk about is the rate of fire, and it's important to note that burst action weapons actually have two rates of fire. The burst rate of fire, and the rate of fire after the burst delay. So for example, the M16's rate of fire of one burst is 909 RPM, but then after your burst you have an amount of time between the next burst of bullets, and that is called burst delay. And after that burst delay, the rate of fire of the M16 is 452. So the 909 of the first three bullets is an amazing fire rate, amongst the best rate of fires in Black Ops 3. However, the 452 RPM is amongst the worst of the assault rifles in Black Ops 3. So obviously there is a very large discrepancy in that but what does that mean for the weapon so essentially what this means is with the m16 your time to kill is either going to be godly or pretty bad the reason being if you get your three round burst kill your time to kill is going to be 0.13 seconds if you don't know much about time to kills that is the best time to kill in black ops 3 the absolute best time to kill then, if you don't get your three-round burst kill, you're going to have a much, much worse time to kill. Reason being, you actually have to wait for the burst delay to finish before you're able to get another shot on target. So as soon as you miss a burst, your time to kill drops down to 0.38 seconds, which is obviously much, much worse than 0.13 seconds. There's a very large 
difference there. And why am I saying that this is one of the best weapons in the game if it has such a slow time to kill if you simply miss one bullet? And the reason for that is if we just take the stats as they are right now, this is already a good weapon. To have a time to kill of 0.13 seconds is amazing. But this weapon goes from amazing to godly when you equip two attachments. The first of these two attachments is High Caliber, and I've talked about High Caliber on this channel before, saying that it is already a borderline overpowered attachment, but on the M16, this is amplified so, so much. Reason being, with High Caliber, it makes it so up until 37 meters, if you simply get one headshot, it drops from a three bullet kill to a two bullet kill. And this weapon already had an insane time to kill, but with high caliber, and if you get one headshot, all of a sudden your time to kill drops down to 0 0.06 seconds. You didn't hear me wrong, 0 0.06 seconds. That is faster than any human can even normally react to anything, which means if someone gets a headshot on you, you're just dead. By the way, just quickly about the high caliber attachment, if you've never used it before, basically on any weapon, it multiplies your damage by 1.6 in other words what i'm telling you is if you want to take your enemies bend them over the barrel and show them the 50 states this is the attachment to do so also what this means if you get one headshot you can miss one of your three bullets out of your three round burst and still be able to get a one round burst kill which is again absolutely insane the other attachment that's going to really improve this class is rapid fire because the way rapid fire works on burst action weapons isn't increasing the fire rate. What it actually does is decrease the burst delay. So the time in between bursts is going to be decreased. So even if you aren't getting that one round burst kill, your follow up burst will be that much quicker because of the rapid fire and combining these two things makes it so you're always going to have a time to kill that's absolutely going to shred your opponent. But I'm not done there. If we go ahead and look at the rest of the stats for the M16, almost every single one of those stats is going to be the best out of all of the assault rifles. For example, the reload speed. The reload speed with bullets still in the magazine is two seconds for the M16. The fastest out of all of the assault rifles in class. The sprint out time is 0.3 seconds, which is the second best in class. The only two weapons that actually beat it are the Peacekeeper and the HVK. And finally, the hip spread of 3 inches at a minimum and 7 at a maximum. Once again, best in class. What I'm getting at here is that every single stat on the M16 is actually good. Now, the only other thing we could look at is recoil. And as far as recoil goes on this weapon, I think this may have the lowest recoil out of any of the assault rifles. There's essentially none. I don't even use a grip on this weapon whatsoever. The one downfall of this weapon, though, is its iron sights. I simply don't like the iron sights. Some people don't mind them, and I can understand that, but for me, I need to use a red dot sight or a boa or whatever Ever, but it kind of makes up for that by having such a low recoil pattern. So the main reason why this weapon is so good is that when you equip high caliber, it has such a low recoil pattern that it's so easy to get headshots. And when you do get simply one headshot, your time to kill is going to drop from 0.13 seconds to 0.06 seconds. And with this, your time to kill is going to be less than half of that of the next best assault rifle. So what I'm actually saying is, if you get this out of a supply drop, you are one lucky person. But let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Did I convince you that this is a good weapon? And also, do you think this is a little pay to win? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, it would be fantastic if you'd hit that like rating. And if you enjoy what you see here, you can always hit that subscribe button as I upload new Call of Duty videos every single day of the week. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time... Peace out. Don't let it go.